Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofinet and welcome back to The Witcher 3 on the Death March difficulty. We're still playing the Blood and Wine DLC and uh, today we're gonna do a little quest called Turn and Face the Strange. A few episodes ago we got a letter from Yennefer, you know, our uh, favorite sorceress. And uh, she told us that a professor, a certain Professor Moreau, was investigating uh, Witcher mutations. Professor Moreau has uh, long since died. But uh, maybe we can find out something at his grave. So let's see if we can find anything. What's that weird noise? So we're at the uh, Orlemur Cemetery. And it seems like somebody already touched a few graves. What's with the weird buzzing? Okay, so I'm gonna try and take out the drowners first. Just in case they uh, try to annoy me. Oh, and there's hidden treasure here as well. There we go. All drown us down. And there seems to be hidden treasure here. So that's probably going to lead me to another treasure hunt. The only type of uh, quests I don't do in this uh, playthrough. Don't do anything stupid. I know you buried Selina at the Beauclair Cemetery along with the rest of the loot from our last heist. Okay, that sounds interesting as well. So let's quickly do that then. Since we're at the cemetery anyway. Let's pick up everything of these drowners. I still don't know what that buzzing is. Probably just flies hanging around the cemetery. Which is a bit weird. Um, wait a second. Is there another cemetery? For this uh, guarded treasure or hidden treasure. Let's see. Can I, can't I just jump over here? Yeah, there we go. Suspiciously loud for a cemetery at night. Yeah, indeed. Till death do you part. Another quest. Maybe I should wait with that and do that in a second. Can't hear anything now. Till death do you part. Yeah, so I'm just going to swap back to uh, turn and face the strange. I will do that first. Uh, maybe I'm going to do the treasure hunts in Blood and Wine since they seem to be a bit more interesting than the ones in the main game. But let's see if we can't find uh, Moreau's grave. It might be the big one. No? Okay, never mind. There seems to be a few that are turned over. Martin Catacult, killed by his own ambition. Sounds bad. Uh, this one? Le Hirondel, princess from a land far across the seas. So I'm not really using my Witcher senses for that. Pierre maybe and Alexandra perhaps barely knew each other and their love was all the deeper for it. <laughs> okay then. What's this weird noise I keep hearing? So is this? Yeah, Thomas Moreau, professor. Elas Cavani Alder Ein Dolnevde, Elas Alder Nakoras. That's the best Alvin I can do. Elder speech. speech. Salvation lies not in Dolnevde, but in our hearts. Glory be to Elderin. Okay. Damn. Professor's journal's long gone. Guess somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. Okay, so we have a really really small area to search for now so let's examine the corpse certainly can't do much to help me with my search sorry Geralt maybe there was something on his corpse okay we have footsteps so let's follow those Prince, narrow and shallow somebody small light woman maybe hmm Not where they lead okay let's uh back away from the flies did it just stop here damn it trail breaks off wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Hmm, won't learn anything else here. Map Yen sent me will have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Elorin and Dolnevde, Valley of the Nine. Okay, check the location of Nevde on the map Yennefer sent you. Uh, give me a second. Okay, I have an old map of Toussaint, which seems to be what we're looking for, I suppose. Okay, Site that was enough. The map's all wet now. Sonratour flows through there. Must be where the valley of the Lion once lay. Need to explore the location. Okay, and we'll do so. So see you guys uh, in a second in the Valley of the Nine. 
I wonder if we're gonna find uh, Zer in there from Destiny, since he's the, the protector of the Nine. He was sent by the Nine, and now we're going to the Valley of the Nine. Probably a different Nine, though. Uh, so they're flooded ruins, so I'm gonna have to take a little dive. What the hell is that? That was not a simple light, was it? There's something... Oh, plants! Oh, bear! Um... Help! Okay, does he run off? Okay. I don't want to fight those plants over there. But I'm afraid I'm gonna have to. Nope, nope, nope. I don't have to. I never have to. Entrance marked. Okay, then. Oh, this is cool. This kind of reminds me of one of the stories in the books. What is coming close? Oh, it's Drowners. Where there was uh, a folk of underwater people killing sailors that came too close. And there was also a kind of uh, staircase that started on the beach and went down into the water. But first, let's uh, imbibe some killer whale. There we go. That should be fine. And let's head down. Dive. Gonna have to take care of the drowners first. I don't seem to be having my crossbow equipped. Oh wow, they don't die in one hit. Okay, I think I just did a look at this place. This is awesome. There's a portal down there, so I'm gonna suppose that's it. I don't really know how that works with portals. We had one of those underwater before and I still think it's weird that what I still think it's weird that the water doesn't come through it, although it seems to be getting wet. So it seems to be letting some water through, but it's weird that it doesn't let everything through. So we are inside of the ruins. Look at that. Um, but now we need to find out what's going on in here. Maybe find something regarding our mutations, hopefully. Because this is what why we're doing it for, since we're going to be able to do something, I think. To uh, make our abilities a bit better. Wow, look at this place. It's huge. Copper ore. Dull meteorite axe, I like that. Can sell most of it. Anything else? Now that I'm underground, I should actually be looking for uh, more ore. Since that's gonna be handy for that. Uh, oh, look at that. Copper nickel ore. For our Grandmaster gear. Which I'm gonna try to make all of it. Implanted spice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy shit balls. Um, I think I'm going to save. So this looks bad. -hoo -hoo -hoo. Jesus Christ. And Geralt isn't the fastest. And I don't want to run. Since that's going to start. Maybe I'm going to end up. Oh, for fuck's sake. I can't even do that without running. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Oh, I lost my quen sign. That's that's what happened. Ah. Okay, so bumping into the spikes isn't harmful, which is good, because I would have died otherwise. Um. Oh shit, balls. Uh, how long does that stay open? Jesus, Jesus Christ. I, I do want the loot on that skeleton though. No, 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 no. Okay, there's no loot. There's no loot, I give up. Okay. Um, so we can go down or we can go over there. Is there something over there? Yeah, there's a chest over there. Okay then. But not without saving, I'm not. Jesus Christ, this one is fast. Oh. 
Okay, Diamond Radiant Ingot, that alone is worth it. Jesus Christ. This is something we haven't done before. Oh, get across. Okay. So let's go down. And I'm gonna assume there's gonna be more traps like those. Little Guardian Lemon and SS say fine wine. I start walking automatically. I can't run in this place, apparently. Well, aside from the, uh, the traps, I could run in there. Let's take all that. Not that it's that interesting, but... It's more than nothing. What's this? Let's just take the stairs down. That seems to be the, the more uh, sensible decision. So, doggy statues. Yeah, okay. Okay. Holy shit balls! So I'm gonna go with Spectre Oil. In the uh, supposition that those are Spectral Panthers. Okay, you can't put them on fire, which is annoying. I feel like my health regeneration has gone down as well. That's one down. Okay, guardians. They seems to be they seem to be real because there's monster tissue attached to it. Although there's spectre dust as well. Um, so that was something. Panther ghosts. More stuff. Ooh, a diamond. That's interesting. So. Yeah, okay, I came from over there, so now let's go in here. Okay, don't want to get jumped again by something. There's a hole in the floor here. More armor. Doesn't look like I want to drop down there. There's a chest. It seems to be maybe better than... Okay, let's go down. Oh, don't whine. Don't meet your right axe, well it's something. Okay, there's something over there. Something in all directions, it seems. But this one seems to be closed off. So let's go in here first. Blood soaked. Grave robber was wounded while attempting the climb. Needed to bandage up. Managed to avoid the panthers, at least. Yes, indeed. Silver. Silver ore. So I don't think, yeah, this doesn't go any further. This just drops down into a pit. Uh, anything else? That's just Nostrix on the wall. I'm gonna take that anyway. So this should be the way, the other way, the one where we could... Yeah, let me get up. God damn it. Seems to be another hallway over here. More unrefined copper ore. And some weird noises. That wasn't me. There is good loot in this place though, so it's it pays to look around a bit. But this is actually a proper dungeon. We haven't really had one of those yet. Let's go down. Well, I mean yet in oh. That's an Indiana Jones reference. So the boulder came down, crashed through the floor over there, through the wall over there, and then over here, and stopped eventually in here. Crossbow, don't need that. I have a crossbow, so thank you, Geralt. Professor Moreau's diary, that's interesting. So that's the one we're looking for. Since certain suspicious individuals have begun hanging around outside my laboratory, I have been forced to implement additional security measures. Yeah, a giant boulder. I suspect they are but common criminals looking for something shiny to steal and have no real interest in my research, but better safe than sorry after an uh, illegible fragment. Furthermore, on the advice of an engineer acquaintance of mine, I have decided to secure the premises with a simple mechanical apparatus. In one of the rooms along the route to the laboratory, I have installed a mechanism for locking and unlocking the doors, which is operated by pressing four protruding stones placed high up on the walls. I can bypass these locks with ease by using a simple spell, but a common thief will be faced with a double challenge. First you must notice these stones and puzzle out their purpose, 
then he must find a way to press them. Okay. Can't I climb onto this thing? Yeah. So... Those are probably the stones he's talking about. Yeah, okay. Whoa, holy Jesus Christ. Just do this. Yeah, we did just do this. There we go. It was uh, glitching out a bit. Why only one panther right now? So, um, there are these stones. The diary talked about stones placed high on the wall, and there we go. Whoever was here must have scaled that wall, evaded the panthers. Okay. That was also... Yeah, it kind of looks like an Assassin's Creed level. Or an Uncharted level. Don't know how they would get out. There seems to be... Oh yeah, that's the pedestal that the panther statue was on. So let's check out this room. There's just a staircase going into a wall. That's not good. So that might be the entrance to the laboratory. So let's loot this. Thank you. And then... It's... Hmm. Pulling my focus towards the rope. But that's not that high. I mean, you can jump and... Uh, Press it, I suppose. No? Okay. Gerald is stupid, so there's a corpse hanging over here as well. Let's take this as well. And then we have this. Locked. Hmm. Notes I found mention four protruding stones. Gotta press them somehow. Crossbow, maybe? Could try to hit them. I wonder what that rope is all about. Probably how the uh, other okay. guy went down. I mind having something like that myself. So yeah, that's probably what the other thief used to get down. Uh, okay, so we have protruding stones. The problem is, I only see one protruding stone. Oh no, two, three. Oh, there they are. Okay, never mind. So uh, target practice, I suppose. So one. Two, three, and then four right over there somewhere. There we go. That's good. It's funny that a crossbow bolt would have the strength to uh, push those buttons. But hey, uh, more ore for me. Gold. Gold this time. Not the, the ones that I need for uh, the Grandmaster gear, but hey. Uh, come on, Geralt. Climb up. Keep forgetting you need to hold the jump button if you want to guarantee him pulling himself up. Seems someone put a lot of thought into its design. Should look around. There's a lot of gargoyle statues in this room, I just noticed. That's not good. Yeah, there we go. There we go. So gargoyles are Elementa. So I'm using uh, Elementa oil. And heavy strikes. So let's try Erden as well. God damn it. He got a hit in there. I'm quite over leveled for this quest, it seems. No, no, I didn't get hit by it. And one hit. There we go. How many more of these guys are gonna come to life? Because. Gargoyle Paw. Okay. Got something out of it at least. So now there's a little box here, but seems I need to press this first. That goes down. Great portals. This just keeps getting better. Yeah, indeed, and more complicated. So I got the gold necklace from the box, so nothing special there. Find a path through the portals. Well, then we have the statue in the middle to guide us a bit. I would think that the one the statue is pointing at should be the correct way, right? Oh, gold. So, if I follow the same logic, 
I should go to the other side of the room. Over there. Because this seems to only lead... Right. To find the next portal. Yeah, okay. I mean, I can't reach that one. So I'm supposing I need to go in here. This is another room, because that guy is holding an orb and not that tablet from before. And back we're back. Started. Yeah, we're back. Okay. So... Maybe take the opposite one then? Damn oh, it. for back fuck's started. sake. Okay. Um, so, well, the only one I haven't been into is this one. Damn it. Wrong again. Could be some clue around here. So, no, he's clearly pointing towards... That's that portal over there. So this is the correct one, but maybe I need to just drop down and follow my own rules. Because we have a few upstairs, but maybe those are dupes, and I just need to follow which way the statue points. Which should be that one over here. God damn it. Damn it. Back where I started. Okay, let's do this again. I still think we need to go downstairs. Um, but maybe we need to take the one upstairs. Because we can reach this one as well. So, in here then, I suppose? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. We're somewhere else. So, we always need to go where the statue is pointing at. Um, why is this lit up? Oh, oh, yeah, okay. I can drop down here, I think. Or not. Seems a bit high. Ah, this is better. This is better. So now he's holding one of those tablet thingies again. Okay. Jump over it. Yeah, okay. Um, I hate to fuck up my own rules, but that one is closed off. But this one is glowing nicely. So I don't really know if that's a hint or not. But this one seems to have a different color, so let's try this one. Okay, yeah. What the hell is this? Oh, seriously? <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys know Portal. But this is a fucking companion cube from Portal. So, because we're doing a puzzle with portals. Yeah, and this is an orange one. Funny. Okay, so in Portal you go from uh, blue portals into orange portals or vice versa. And you have a, a few things that uh, involve these cubes. With the uh, hearts on the sides of them. Dude, this is hilarious. And what's in the box? Cake! <laughs> Okay, and throughout Portal you get messages uh, about the cake is a lie. This is amazing. Oh god. Okay, so it's not the right Portal though. It's uh, a bit of an easter egg. Okay, that was funny. That was funny. Kudos to you guys. Um, so normally I would say... Follow the portals. I wouldn't want to take this one. But it seems... Yeah, okay, I can't even blast away the debris. Um, the only other one right in front of the statue is actually that one up there. Which I, now I should get back up, probably. But maybe over here. What was that? There was a noise. There we go. So the statue is pointing over here. So this should be, I hope. Oh yeah. Okay, so follow the statues and it should be fine. I'm still a bit giddy about the portal easter egg. But um, turn and face the strange. Okay. 
So there's an alchemy station over there. But I'm first going to take a, a deeper look around. What's this? It seems like a man in a Guess jar. This man didn't come here willingly. Ooh. Professor Moreau was uh, up to no good. Man, there's a lot of things here. That's a megascope, right? Hello. Hello. Just need to pick an entry. Oh. Okay. First entry then. Hello, Professor Moreau. The 18th of Yule, year 1102. Today I begin my great life's endeavor, one greater and more significant than any I have thus far undertaken, for it relates to me personally, to myself and my son. When 15 years passed, a beast of the forest assaulted me. A witcher came to my aid, saved my life. I could not know that for said salvation, I would in the end pay by relinquishing any say as to my own son's fate. Had I the skill to turn back time, I would have done so, and perished rather than surrender to the witchers my only son. But as it was, on the day when Jerome was taken, I swore an oath on my honor that I would recover my son. Today, following years of research and preparation, I have at last devised a device that allows me to study mutations. If the gods in their goodness grant me but a bit of favor, I shall find a way to reverse said mutations and restore Jerome to a normal life. Okay. That's not something we want so, to achieve. The professor wasn't out to enhance Witcher mutations. Wanted to reverse them. Wonder if he managed. And if there's anything in it for me. Okay, so there's no crystal for the second and fourth entry so let's go with the third one then to stay chronologically so uh, get a move on Geralt put it in put it in he's not in a hurry today is he observation number 30 the mutations do not set in at once curiously they do not develop over a span of time rather for a mutation to progress towards completion the appropriate mutagen must be applied continuously. The subject does not bear this well, but I found a way to make the mutations less taxing, invasive. To the mutagen base, I add the albumin of a mutated giant centipede egg. Stored in the Glasterarium, the eggs do not develop, remain small. The eggs themselves are a sight to behold. Mutated they are, Luminescent, emitting a wondrous glow. I can only hope my addition of the albumen will produce no significant side effects. Time will tell. Yes, indeed. So nothing very interesting for now. So let's go with the final entry. What his uh, research ended in. Still a bit weird that Geralt's chin goes through the sides of his armor sometimes. Years of experiments. Be such. Sacrifice. All for naught. I have failed to achieve my defined objective. Each mutation I applied to my subjects proved ineffective when applied to Jerome. What I meant to cure him of his witcherism. That which I meant to restore to him a normal life. Only deepened his mutations, further augmented his speed and strength, rendered him yet more inhuman. It seems my son must remain a witcher forever. I have failed. The time has come to abandon this place. Return home to Lydia. She may yet deign to take me back. The contraption and mutagens I leave here. Let them wither and crumble. As did my dreams of regaining my son. That was sad. Damn. So the professor wanted to reverse the mutation's effects. Ended up deepening them. Stroke of luck for me. Could profit from his failure. 
Okay. So let's summarize, so, apparently. Professor tried to neutralize the effects of Witcher mutations. Only managed to enhance them, though. Yeah, Which simply the said, yes. Giant centipede eggs as his mutagen base. Need to go on an egg hunt. Okay. Acquire mutated giant centipede albumen. Uh, well, I guess I'm gonna have to do with that. The so-called giant centipedes are my only comfort in exile. Well, let's take that. So, bestiary entry added, that's good. I'm not gonna read that. Uh, there's an Iron Maiden here. As machinery goes, and how do I start it up? Why do you want to start it up? Something here as well. Megas- Ooh! Oh! Oh, wait! Wait! There's more! That's the second and fourth entry, probably. Just need to pick an entry. Let's go with the second entry now. Maybe there's some information I'm missing before I go on an egg hunt. Observation 22. Despite applying a surfeit of toxic substances, significantly more than usual, the subject displayed no symptoms of overdosing. I believe this to be an effect of the mutations. Thus, a minor success. This mutation should allow Jerome better to tolerate toxicity. Okay. That was interesting, I suppose. And the fourth one. And that should be all of the entries. Observation 58. Sometimes failure is the catalyst for success. I've discovered a method by which one type of mutagen may be transmuted into another through the addition of certain ingredients. This is a great day for science. In addition, I observed that today's dose of mutagens brought the subject to the brink of death. He then suddenly awoke, revived, his strength renewed. Not wholly, of course, but he did in a sense come back from the edge of death. Whether this is attributable to his mutations or to pure coincidence cannot be ascertained. I must conduct further experiments. So wait, I thought the alchemy station we found in our basement was the was from the guy that allowed us to change our mutagens into elder mutagens. But he apparently made that discovery as well. What's this? Create a green mutagen. Okay then. So there's a box here as well with ooh. A lesser mutagen transmutator, blue to green. That's something. Oh, must have kept his son in here. Grim. Yes, indeed. Well, we saw that while we were looking at the uh, the thingies. So we checked all that out. This is a great blue mutagen. Preserved organs. Hope their donors weren't forced to give them up. Okay. Seems to be a bit more loot here as well. Let's activate this thing, because that's probably the way out. I probably need to just start it up. Yeah, okay, so that's a portal out of here. But first, let's go kill ourselves a giant centipede. Quite the library. Mostly tomes on mutations and genetics. Let's read that quickly. Not gonna look into that much further. Uh, so let's go in here. Let's obviously go for insectoid oil, because that's probably what we're going to be facing. Giant centipedes. Yep, there we go. Did that just say Pale Widow? My bed has arrived, apparently. Oh shit, that's a turny turny attack. Yeah, okay. What? Okay, so now there's Stew. Yeah, okay, that's one down. Ill Widow. And there's the other one down. 
Holy shit, these Sorry. monsters are terrible. So those weren't eggs. Still no eggs. Is there something around here that resembles eggs? Because I'm not seeing it. Hello? Oh shit. Oh shit, that one's a bit bigger. And wow, I just cut that thing in half. Uh, so let's loot this thing as well, because he has amazing loot. But these are the eggs, probably. Okay, let's take all of that. Can I go? No, okay. Are there more eggs? Seems to be able to go through here. Oh, okay, so now we're... <laughs> we came from up there. Okay, great. Um, so let's, where the hell do I need to go? Do I need to use this thing? Seriously? Um, that, that's not a good thing, is it? Place the mutated giant centipede abdomen, albumen, in Professor Moreau's contraption. Okay. Do I seriously need to get undressed and activate Moreau's contraption? And I just activate it without no point going in wearing full gear. Okay. There we go. Professor's mutagens might work on me as they did on his son. Well, time to find out. That that is not a good idea, is it? That looks dangerous. Whoa, okay. You look a bit bad, Geralt. But he seems to be stronger. What's that noise? You've unlocked the mutations system. Mutations let you gain new capabilities, increasing your advantage over normal men and giving you an added edge in killing monsters. To learn more, open the character panel. Okay, I'm here. Mutations. Press triangle to open the mutations panel. Holy shit. Um, to use mutations, you first must research them. To do this, choose one of the available mutations. For mutation research to finish successfully, you must devote the required number of ability points and mutagens to it. Choose one of the advanced mutations. To develop advanced mutations, you must first develop other more basic ones. Information about this can be found in the mutations description. This is cool. So the magic one, signs can deal critical hits. Their critical hit chance and damage increase with sign intensity, currently 44 chance, to deal an additional 238% damage. Opponents killed by critical hits from signs explode. Okay, I need to use two ability points for that though. So then we have the uh, a combat skill. Sword attacks deal 25% more damage to human opponents immune to counterattacks and monsters. In all other cases, if the attack is vitality less than 25%, a counterattack immediately triggers a finisher. Or the alchemy tree, each time you are injured in melee combat, the attacking opponent receives damage in the amount of 1.5% of the damage dealt for every point of your toxicity level. Maximum of 150%. We have a few abilities that are linked to each other, it appears. We can, uh, the first one we can get from Magic Sense abilities is Piercing Cold, which adds a freezing effect to Ard. Opponents knocked down and frozen simultaneously die immediately. Opponents who are not frozen are dealt an additional 3563 damage, which is a lot. And then the final one. When drawn, magic, unique, and witcher swords increase sign damage dealt by 50% of their own damage dealt. Whoa. Okay. That's all very, very interesting. And if I knew that beforehand, I would have saved up my ability points. Adrenaline rush. At the start of combat, sword attack, power, and sign intensity increase for 30 seconds by 30% for each foe. 
So when fighting 11 foes, the bonus is 300%. Once it wears off, a sword attack power and sign intensity drop by 10% for each participating foe after the first. And then we have second life. When vitality reaches zero, you become temporarily invulnerable and regenerate 100% vitality. This effect can only be triggered once every 180 seconds. So every three minutes. What else? Bloodbath. Each fatal blow dealt by a sword dismembers the enemy or activates a finisher. Each blow dealt by a weapon in melee combat increases attack power by 5% until combat ends to a maximum of 250%. The bonus is lost if you take damage, not including damage from toxicity. Cat eyes. Crossbow damage is now increased from 0 to 0. Value depends on crossbow used. And crossbow critical hit chance is increased by 50%. Crossbow bolt spears knock down or stun opponents. Opponents struck when they have full vitality lose 15% of vitality. Not that interesting. Metamorphosis. Applying critical effects to opponents activates a random decoction for 120 seconds, 2 minutes, with no toxicity costs. That is actually cool. The maximum number of decoctions that can be activated simultaneously by the mutation is 3. Which your senses help you see better in dark places. Um, and then Euphoria, each point of toxicity increases damage dealt by swords and sign intensity by 0.75% to a maximum of 75%. And each adrenaline point decreases damage received by 15%. So, I hate to say it, but the science tree seems to be the interesting one here. Mainly this one down below here. Which your swords increase sign damage dealt by 50% of their own damage. And of course the uh, sign one immediately as well. But I need two ability points for that, which might be a problem. But we'll need to uh, check that out later, because I don't have any ability points and I can't get them back. Uh, aside from uh, a very specific potion. So uh, that's going to have to be for later. So let's first leave the laboratory. Maybe I should uh, put my clothes back on. There we go, back in gear. And uh, let's leave this place, because I think we've seen everything there is to see. Yeah, I think there is. So let's leave through the portal, I suppose. Okay, okay, we're back underwater. That's funny. Okay, so that was turn and face the strange. I will probably have cut this into two parts because it's uh, that took me over for over an hour. So I think I'm gonna do another one of those treasure hunts then first. Hey guys, editing trophy nut here. Uh, as you might have uh, realized by now, I didn't split this up in two episodes. So right now we're gonna end the episode and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode where we'll then do those treasure hunts. So hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, don't forget to like it if you did and hope to see you next time. Goodbye.